All right, here we go. Another Starbase daily video. Content by Mary, myself, and Starbase Live. Here we go. They're doing some work on Starhopper. Uh, they're removing the skin. It's basically all this bare, dull, gray metal underneath now, and... Yeah, I don't know. We don't know what they're doing. Are they going to scrap Starhopper? Please don't do that, SpaceX. They, uh, they might just be restoring it to its original condition? They... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, I'm not Das. I'm Jack. This is the first one of these that I'm narrating. I don't know if I can do as good a job as Das. He sort of records these one and done. So I'm going to try and do a one -er, as we say in the TV and film industry. Hopefully it's decent. But yeah, you can see a whole lot of work going on this week. Removing that outer skin and a whole bunch of the stuff that was added on to Starhopper over the years, the antennas, the lights, and uh, everything that went with that. So, jury's out on what's going on with old Starhopper, but uh, I just I just hope they don't scrap it. And I, I honestly, I really hope they don't move it either. It's in a really good spot, and it's sort of really ties the launch site together, much like a nice rug might tie a room together. This is cool. This is a QD arm hinge. If you look at the hinge on tower one for the QD arm, it looks exactly like this. So presumably, this is the QD arm hinge for tower two. Great snag from Mary there. Whole bunch of QD arm parts have been arriving this week. You can see there it's pulling into the uh, Sanchez lot, along with a telehandler and a van. Good stuff. Here we are at Orbital Pad A. For some reason, SpaceX has chosen, at least in regulatory paperwork, to go with Pad A and Tower 1, and Pad B and Tower 2, so go figure. Continuing a whole bunch of work on the chopsticks this week, but thankfully, it wrapped up. I don't want to spoil anything, <laughs> but the chopsticks uh, seeing a lot of use on, uh, on Friday and today on Saturday as well see some of the reinforcements there. Getting a little rusty in the Texas salty air. Honestly, no metal is safe in Starbase. There's the old chop stops that they took off and reinstalled, sort of stopping them from uh, colliding. More chopstick action here. Always so interesting to see like a swarm of these lifts around an object and just people working their tails off. Booster quick disconnect. This is the, uh, the quick disconnect that provides all of the commodities to the booster while it's on the pad. Power, fuel, oxidizer, all that good stuff. Looks like a drilling rig active at the orbital tank farm. And we've heard uh, there might be some, I think it's called a subsistence. Was that truck going backwards? <laughs> so yeah, maybe they're doing some drilling and shoring up the foundations there at the old orbital launch, or sorry, orbital tank farm. Yeah, it's, this is I'm not good at I'm not as good at this as Das. I, it's hard. It's hard to do, Das. How do you do it? Here, the uh, QDs are purged on the orbital launch mount. There are 20 QDs for the 20 outer engines on Super Heavy. And uh, if you remember that crazy, like, cyclone-looking top-down shot that SpaceX posted, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the Raptor cuties. When they purge them, it makes that huge sort of blast. Good call if you want to check it out on Ambient. I bet there's some good audio for that. This, thanks to Rocket Ranch, check them out if you haven't already, is a view of static fire testing of Ship 31 from the Rio Grande, which is a real treat. Sorry for the wobbly camera. It's kind of hard to shoot from a boat. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is a shot from Mary of the same. Mary is, uh, I believe, just off Highway 4 for this shot, which is excellent. You can see the overpressure there. Great shot of the plume. And shut down. About a six-second static fire. And, uh, yeah, if you're on... Twitter, or X, or whatever you want to call it. You probably saw SpaceX post that full-duration slow-mo video of it, which is a real treat as well. Here's my uh, 120 frames a second shot from the river. 
a little tricky because you can't see the base of the rocket from the particular angle that we were at on this particular day. Uh, but you know what? This is only the third static fire at Massey's, so I'm going to keep figuring things out and tweaking things and getting even better views. But you got to love the birds and the Rio. It's just, it's a vibe. So yeah, ship 31 now, static fire tested, and good to go for flight 6, presumably. We'll keep our eyes open for any action uh, at the production site. Maybe they do another raptor swap, who knows, but at least as far as we can tell, successful 6-engine static fire on 31 there, and uh, yeah, ready for flight 6. Now all i got to do is static fire booster 13 and do a full stack wet dress. Here's some more action. Denuding Starhopper. Is that a word? I don't know if that's the right word. Um, just, you know, cleaning up Starhopper. I guess that's the less pessimistic way of putting it. Restoring Starhopper to its original inbox condition. This is cool. Ship 34's nose cone rolled out of the Star Factory and into High Bay to go along with its payload section, which is already in the High Bay. Really, that's a good-looking cone right there. Quality cone. I'm so glad I don't hate the forward flaps in their new position as much as I was, was worrying that I would. Yep, so they moved the cone into the high bay, where it sat for a little bit. They did some checkouts and uh, lifted it up and over onto the payload section. It took him a couple tries. I don't know. We'll see if what Thomas included here in the edit. Thomas always does such good work. But, uh, yeah. We'll see uh, if they sh if we get to see the multiple tries of lift that they, <laughs> they had to do. Um, but eventually they got it done. Always wonder, you know, when you see something like that, what's the cause? Why did they lift it, set it down, lift it, set it down so many times? There it is. It's up. It's down. Stupid bus in the way. Of course the bus is in the way when they actually do lift it. <sighs> also, the guy in that bulldozer right there kept parking directly in front of me, and I kept having to like adjust my camera a few feet side to side. Oh, the fun of shooting in Starbase. But there you go. Nose cone lifted, and we can no longer see it, which means it's going to be stacked on the payload section, and uh, eventually rolled out, presumably, to Mega Bay 2 for continued stacking of that vehicle. There's Booster 12 in Mega Bay 1, getting ready to roll out. You can see the grid fins. And you can see next to it, to the right, I believe that's Booster 13 with the tarp over it? I could be wrong. Hey, I'm not wrong. It's Booster 13 with a tarp over the top. I'm, I'm wondering, like, is that, is that does that to, to protect from FOD? Is that uh, just there for, because we're getting to spooky season? I mean, uh, <laughs> is Booster 13 trying to do its best ghost cosplay? I don't know. Here we have the chopsticks opening up. Timba, his arms wide. Shaco, when the walls fell. It's, I'm, I'm trying to do a Star Trek reference. I, I'm probably butchering it, but there you go. Here we go. Ship 31 rolled back on the 20th after that successful static fire. Like a giant, demented, chrome space penguin. You can see it rolling down Highway 4 towards our river camera here. I love this dang crab stand. I love the static fire stand. It's my favorite stand. It just looks cool. And if we do actually end up getting a mobile mount for, uh, for Pad B, that that's going to be pretty sweet. Here's the uh, hot staging ring, which led the way the same night and this at the same time as Ship 31 rolled from Massey's to the production site, Booster 12 and its hot stage ring also rolled from the production site to the launch site. Lot going on all at the same time. SpaceX being SpaceX. So yeah, there you can see the vented interstage, or hot stage ring, whatever you want to call it. Rolling past our camera here. I love the uh, law enforcement lights reflecting in the metal. Always a cool, a cool little touch. And 
Yep, and then after the uh, old hot stage ring, Booster 12 making its way down Highway 4 to the production site. And at this point, we're all kind of like, huh, interesting that they rolled 31 and not 30. I wonder when 30's going to roll. But uh, yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. There's a hot stage ring going past our highway cameras. Nice little flare there. Beautiful. And Booster 12 as well. As a reminder, uh, this is mostly a joke, but as a reminder, this is sped up. I mean, they move fairly fast, but they don't move that fast. I would be slightly concerned <laughs> if they move that fast in real life. Here we go. This is real time. And if you're getting background noise from Laika, I apologize. She just woke up, and she is in hyper mode. I'm trying to do a one-er here. I'm trying to be like Das. It's hard. It's, it's difficult. There goes the hot stage ring. You can see underneath it, too, which is just so cool. Whole bunch of stringers and reinforcements. And there goes Booster 12 past the SpaceX spine, past Starhopper. See, they please don't scrap Starhopper, SpaceX. Please. It's so perfect there. What a shot. Booster 12 arriving at the launch site and gets hugged by the chopsticks. You can see them moving up into hug position there. And the booster moving into them. Excellent. Here we go. The chopsticks will... Uh, a little bit of wobble, a little bit of wiggle there, getting the booster in just the right position, but then we'll see the chopsticks hug the booster. Here we go, Ship 31 arriving at Mass... not Massey's, leaving Massey's, arriving at the production site. So cool looking. And straight into Mega Bay 2. You can see the uh, old two-point lifter being hooked up to 31, so it can be lifted off the static fire stand. And here we go, the early morning Booster 12 lift. This was a special one, because they lifted the booster all the way to the top of the tower, which is, I think that's the first time they've ever done that. Presumably doing some kind of calibration, or maybe just making sure the, the sticks can lift all the way to the top of the tower with a booster on. Either way, quite interesting whole bunch of amazing memes all over the uh, Twitter verse, the space Twitter, SpaceX. You can't call it SpaceX because that's, that's the name of the company. Oh my god. But yeah, a lot of fire memes from this one. Definitely not complaining. And there are the 33 Raptors and their heat shield and their booties lowered into the mount. Little, some fine adjustments there to get it in the exact right position. You can see a drone really quick. Hi, drone. Bye, drone. <laughs> Here's the lift from another angle. This is our north cameras. At some point, we should probably do like a camera diagram because we have names for all of our different cameras. There's like highway, there's river, there's north, there's south. Um, but yeah. Those were the north cameras. I believe this is from Danger Trailer. Chopsticks going back down into their uh, resting position, uh, having done their job with the booster. And then, around noon, Ship 30 decided to roll out with its flaps out. A lot of times they stow the flaps for a roll, so that kind of caught me off guard. But it sure looks really cool. You can really see in the sped up footage how much the ship is, I don't know if wobbling is the right word, but um, adjusting. Because the SPMTs can self-level, and each tire can raise and lower and turn independently. So as they're going down the, uh, the curves of Highway 4, they're able to do that. Look at those raptors! No booties on those! Beautiful. Really good looking heat shield. Kind of speckled looking, a whole bunch of different tiles, a bunch of gap filler, some red, some white. 
Here we go. Ship 31 has been lifted off of the crab stand, static fire stand, whatever you want to call it, and moved back into the old high bay there. Good stuff. So yeah, stay tuned to the channel. We are hoping to see a ship lift here any second now, like literally any second now. Um, hopefully I did a good job. Let me know in the comments. I'm not Das. I'm not a pro like him, but you know what? Doing what I can. I do like the idea of these narrated dailies, and uh, I hope you like them too. Um, das, if you're watching, tell me what you think. Did I do good? I hope I did good. All right, we'll see you next time.